Last week, Google announced their new social network, so today we're going to take a look at Google Spaces. What is it and who is it for? This is Google Spaces. It's available for iOS, Android, and the web, and to me, sort of seemed like an updated version of Google Plus Communities. When you open up Spaces, you'll see all the spaces you've been invited to. So let's open one up. Here's one I created that I called Cool Launchpad Mixes. When you open it up, you'll see the most recent posts to the space along with the most recent comments on the right side of the post. Let's take the first post for example. This is a YouTube video posted by someone in the group. When you tap on it, the video will load in the app instead of going to a web browser. By tapping Say Something, you can leave your response by a comment, link, photo, or sticker. Now YouTube videos aren't the only thing you can post here. For example, after watching this video, you thought of an article that everyone in the space might want to see. Just tap the share button at the bottom of the space and either paste in the link to the article or search for it. When the article is ready to post, you can add a comment to it and then select post. Overall, I can't really think of a reason Spaces would become an app most people would use. Maybe this would work for something like neighborhood announcements, fan clubs, or something like that. But as for this becoming a replacement for any of the major social networks, I don't think that will happen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Google Spaces, leave a comment below. And you'll hear my voice next week on Friday. Thanks.